What's up everyone, Andrew Bainey here, and on today's video we are checking out an acoustic guitar for once. Believe it or not, this is actually the first acoustic guitar that I've ever owned. I went straight to electric guitar when I was a young lad and kind of skipped this whole step, so this is all very alien to me. Made even more so that this is clearly not your typical acoustic guitar. So today we are checking out the Lava ME3, which is the new guitar from Lava Music. This guitar is super crazy, packed with a ton of interesting features, and we're going to talk about all of that. But first and foremost, I'm feeling a little too warm in here, so I'm gonna go outside and show you guys how this guitar sounds in a full demo mix first. Okay, now we're back inside. Let's start this video by talking about the specs of this guitar. So first and foremost, as you can see, it is not made out of wood. It's actually made out of carbon fiber, specifically called Air Sonic 2. I believe this is a proprietary type of carbon fiber that was developed by Lava Music. So yeah, it's all carbon fiber, which is why I was able to take this guitar outside and not have to worry about the wood shrinking or whatever due to temperature changes because there is no wood. In addition to that, because this guitar is made out of carbon fiber plus the way that the soundboard is arranged inside of the guitar, you actually have a lot more bass than your typical acoustic guitar. According to their website, about 30% more bass. <laughs> definitely sounds a little thicker to me. You can get the Lava ME3 in a bunch of awesome colors. This one is the blue, but it also comes in a bunch of other ones like red, space gray, white, black, so on and so forth. They all look great, but the blue looks really nice. It's almost got like a purpley hue to it and it borderline looks like a color shifts, but it doesn't. Looks really nice paired with red, especially I think. Of course, the most impressive and biggest feature of this guitar is that it has a built-in three and a half inch touchscreen on the side of the body right there. We're gonna talk way more about this touchscreen very soon because it has a ton of cool features and we're gonna go over pretty much all of them real quick. But before we get onto that, a couple more quick specs to mention. It also has a built-in Freeboost 2.0 amplifier, which is actually inside the sound hole. Again, you'll see why that's useful in a couple minutes when we start going over the stuff on the touchscreen. And then last but not least is this guitar is actually chargeable by USB-C. You can see on the bottom of the guitar there. Also, that strap pin is a direct output, so if you don't want to record yourself using a mic, you can plug this straight into an interface and it works like that as well, which is awesome. And last but not least, this guitar comes in an awesome case, one of the coolest soft slash hard shell cases I've ever seen. And the whole thing, the package, I don't know, man, it just looks crazy. It looks like a futuristic guitar. It almost looks like if Apple was to make a guitar, it just looks like that. It has this really nice, sleek quality to it. Everything's got these nice rounded edges, looks super polished, very futuristic. I really like how this thing looks and the packaging was amazing. So with that being said, we're gonna move on to the part of the guitar that most of you are probably interested in, which is the touchscreen, mostly the Lava Plus app, as well as the High Lava operating system. Of course, the High Lava operating system is what is on the touchscreen that's built into the guitar. And then the Lava Plus app is the accompanying app that goes on your phone while you're playing the guitar. So let's go on to that. So now that we covered the specs of the guitar, we're gonna switch over to talking about this 
this touch screen that's on the side right here. So when you turn on the guitar, you'll notice that there are three different options on the home screen. There is a tap to tune tuner, a tempo, or an effects template section. We're gonna start off by clicking the tuner. And then of course, as you would expect, it tells you if you're in tune. It even makes a sound which comes out of the sound hole of the guitar, which is super cool and very trippy. And so on and so forth. I don't need to do the whole guitar, you get the point. So moving over to the right, you can see that there's a tempo section. You can increase or decrease the BPM by just scrolling through the BPM slide wheel. And then last but not least is the effects template. Right now it says I have no template. Later on, we're gonna make a template and that would normally pop up here. So from here, if you swipe up on the screen, you get access to all the rest of the apps. So now that we're on this screen, we have full access to all of the different apps that are built into the guitar. So again, we got tuner, tempo, recorder, effects, practice, and loops. You can scroll over to the right as well. We're not gonna be going through these, but there's also a music section, pictures, updates, and settings. Those are pretty self-explanatory. We're not gonna go over those in this video. So we're gonna scroll back. Again, if you go to that tuner, it's gonna look the same as what was on your home screen, except bigger. You can select different tunings. Right now I'm in half step down, but you can also select standard instead, of course. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the home screen. So if we wanna to go to a different app, like the Tempo, for example, this of course would be your metronome. So you can, of course, drag the wheel accordingly to manually select the Tempo, or you can tap the screen. And then once you turn on the metronome, it does a metronome thing, as you would expect it to. So next up is the record app. Of course, simple enough. When you open it, it's just gonna say tap to record. So if you tap that, it's gonna start recording you. And then when you play, so if you're happy with your recording, again, it'll auto play out of the guitar. So once you save it, it says the recording has been saved to music and you're good to go, you can exit this app. So while we're on the topic of recording, since I just recorded myself, what you can do next is swipe over to the music section. And this is basically gonna show you all the stuff that you have recorded. As you can see, I just recorded January 11th, new recording two. From here, you can select that, rename it to whatever you want. And then once you rename it, you know, just click return to save. And then once you're happy with your saved name, you can see that it's basically gonna be saved to the music section of your guitar forever. And once it's saved to the guitar with that new name, it is also gonna pop up on the accompanying app on your phone, which is the Lava Plus app. So basically anything you record on your guitar will automatically go to the app. And then from the app on your phone, you can choose to share it, download it, send it to Dropbox, upload it to Instagram, whatever you want. So moving back to the home screen, we're gonna keep going through these apps. So once you open up the practice app, you're going to see there are a few different sections. We got chord transition training, strumming, scale training, ear training, or single note training. Once you select any of these, it basically puts you in a different training module. So if we go chord transition, for example, you can basically make your own lesson plan. So essentially, if you're trying to get faster at transitioning between certain chords, you basically select them here, and then it is going to give you a list of different chord selections. So let's say we want to do a C chord, confirm, and we wanna get better at transitioning from a C to a, I don't know, a D chord, confirm. And then this is basically gonna make a lesson plan for you going from C to D. And when you click start, it's basically going to go to this section. It's gonna show you the chord chart of what you should be playing. And then it's gonna track how fast it takes you to transition between these two chords and how accurately you can do it. In my case, it's gonna be hilarious because like I said, I never used to have an acoustic guitar, so I never actually learned the basics of chords. So I don't actually know what these are. Give me a sec here. So we got a C chord. And once you hit it, it's gonna say perfect. And then you're gonna transition. There we go, D chord. So again, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So as someone who never learned these chords, when they were growing up, just like that, we can basically start to learn different chord structures. So once you click end your lesson, it's gonna ask if you wanna take a break or if you wanna finish your lesson. So in my case, I wanna finish. And then it's basically gonna give you a lesson report <laughs> saying, well done, duration, how long you practice for, and then you can click view report. 
and then it's going to show you all of the details about what you just did. So you can see that I played for two minutes, my transition accuracy was 71%, so not very good, and my average transition between chords was 2.1 seconds. So again, I'm a beginner at acoustic guitar, this is pretty bad. Maybe this will make you feel better about yourself if you're starting to learn. So again, going back to the home screen of the practice section, of course, there are other different practices you can do like strumming, scale training, ear training, and single note training. And again, as I keep mentioning, all of these analytics are actually gonna be transferred over to your profile on the Lava Plus app. And while we're on the topic of that, we're gonna move over to the app really quickly and break that down before we come back to the guitar and go to those last two features, which are the coolest things about this guitar, which are the effects and the looper. So before that, let's move over to the Lava Plus app. Okay, so moving over to the Lava Plus app on your phone. Again, this is going to basically sync all of your recorded files from your guitar as well as all your practice analytics to your phone, which is very cool. So if you go to the main page, you're on your profile. By the way, my profile is called Baina. You should definitely follow me because I'm going to be posting clips from this video on my profile, so go check it out. But yeah, if you go over to your profile section, it's going to show you in the last 30 days how many times you played, how much time you played, and your consecutive weeks practice, which is very cool. And then you go down a bit and it's the cloud section. So this is where you can see your effects templates, your favorite grooves, practice summary, music pictures, or your devices. So yeah, real quick, going back to the Lava Cloud section, if you go to music, you're gonna see that the clip that I recorded at the beginning of this video, which I called Terrible Battery, is now on there. So again, recorded on the guitar, and it automatically synced to your phone, super cool. And then if you click it, you can of course also play it directly on your phone and you have the option to rename it, delete it. And then if you expand the song, there is a share button in the corner where you can basically send it via you know, Facebook Messenger, save it to your phone, Dropbox, or a few other options. If we go over from the me section to the trending section, this is actually where you can see other users' sounds and grooves. So as you can see, when you scroll through, it plays other people's music, which is very cool. You can also save these to your profile or to your guitar. So for example, if there's a groove that you find in the trending section that you want to play through your guitar, you can save it and open it on your guitar. Like let's say it's a drum beat and then you can jam over top of it in real time, which is pretty awesome. Okay, next up we're gonna switch over to the effects section. In my opinion, this is probably the coolest thing about this guitar. Like I mentioned earlier, there is a built-in amp that comes out of the sound hole. So while you're playing, these effects are actually happening in real time and coming out of the guitar, which is very cool. So obviously if you want to travel or take this guitar with you, you don't need to plug it into an amp. There are tons of different effects to choose from. And from what I understand, Lava Music will always be updating their app and their software. So maybe more effects are still to come. And in addition to that, you can also create your own template of up to three different effects. So basically you can pick your three favorite effects and switch between them on the fly while you're playing, instead of going through the whole library and browsing through all of them every time. And you can have up to three different templates. So for this next part of the video, both myself and Johnny picked our three favorite effects from what is currently available within the guitar, and we're going to play through those three each. So these are the three that I chose. <laughs>
right, so last but not least, we are gonna talk about the looper function. This is also one of the coolest things about this guitar. I got Johnny with me here because he actually knows how to play guitar, as you guys saw in the practice section. I don't know shit about what I'm doing. You know uh, how to play guitar. I know how to play, but basically I don't know how to improvise. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna create like a basic loop using two chords and then Johnny will improvise over top of it. So you guys can get a feel for what a more experienced player might do with a looper. I will now sit here and watch you create a loop. And then I will sit there awkwardly and watch you shred over top of the loop <laughs> while I'm like, I don't know, that's, yeah, you're pretty good. All right, so first things first, when you go to the looper, you have the option to browse other people's loops that they have made or grooves or drum beats or anything like that. But we're not gonna look at that today because I wanna make our own loop. So you go to create, top right corner, and then I'm gonna create a drumless loop for us. Once this pops up, there's gonna be a metronome and some other options that appear like your time signature, BPM, and how many bars you wanna record. So for us, we are gonna go to a six eight, oops, not nine eight, six eight feel. And we're gonna reduce the tempo a little bit because that's pretty fast to so go 55 and we're gonna do eight bars. So once you set all that up, you're graded by this screen, which basically allows you to record up to three tracks. So I'm gonna go ahead and record myself playing two chords for eight bars, whoa, and pass it over to Johnny, and then he's <laughs> gonna improvise over top of it. So this is how that would work. As you can hear, after you stop, it starts immediately playing what you just recorded. We're gonna pause this so I don't have to scream over top of it. So anyways! <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so now I've created the first layer of the loop. Again, I'm gonna pass it over to Johnny. <laughs> Yeah, so as you can see, pretty much it just records you for eight bars again, since that, that's what we set out in the you know initial setup. And uh, when it started playing, or sorry, kept playing, then it just played whatever he last recorded. So then if you want from there, you can add a third layer. You can also adjust individual layers of the loop, which is really cool. So let's say we wanted to reduce the volume of the chords and have his lead be more prominent. You can simply tap the first layer, go volume, and then reduce that accordingly. And then when you hit play, the volume will be adjusted. It's really cool stuff. And then from there, of course, you can be done with your loop and choose if you wanna upload it to your Lava Media profile or just save it to your draft if you're uh, too embarrassed and don't want anyone to hear it. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video. Again, a big thank you to Lava Music for sponsoring this video. This guitar is super cool, and if you're interested in learning more, go check out the link in the description or the pinned comment. Also wanna give a big thank you to my awkward friend, Johnny, staring at me over here for helping me out with the video. I'm just vibing, man. <laughs> if you wanna see more of his stuff, go check out his channel. We also do a ton of collabs on my channel as well, so I'm sure you're already familiar with him, but if you're not, go check out his page too. This guitar is super cool. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, of course, a big thank you to all my Patreon members whose names are on the screen at this point in time, covering Johnny's face. Thank you to everyone that is over there. If you're interested in audio downloads, guitar tabs, stems, or show down the screen, you can find all the information over there. Thank you all for watching once again, and we'll see you next time.